Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Today we've got another baking video for you. I'm going to make some honeycomb cupcakes and these are again from the Jane's Patisserie book. Now the book that I bought is a signed copy and I got mine from WH Smith's and it was £20. But they do sell them in the works so if you wanted to get it, it's by Jane Dunn and it's the Jane's Patisserie book. So lots of the recipes that I use are from this book and I'll be doing ones from here for quite some time so if you wanted to buy one and kind of follow it along with me then that would be absolutely cool but I say the works is probably the cheapest place I haven't checked on Amazon but um, it's a really really good book so we're going to do the honeycomb cupcakes today we are um, I've got a cheesecake that I've got planned for in a few weeks I'm going to film that today as well and um, it should be very delicious so let's go over to the kitchen and we'll make a start Right, we're in the kitchen now and I've got all the ingredients all weighed out. So I'm just gonna go through the cake actual part of the ingredients first. So we've got 150 grams of unsalted butter in the back there. I've just popped that into cubes because it's easier. Then I have 150 grams of soft light brown sugar. That's there all weighed out. We've got three eggs over here, 125 grams of self-raising flour and 25 grams of cocoa powder. So what we're gonna to do to start with is pop the butter and the sugar into the mixer and sort of just give those a little mix round until they're light and fluffy. Right, so let's put these into the bowl. I love my KitchenAid. And I'll tell you what I want as well. KitchenAid do a handheld mixer and I'd really like one of those, but I do love this big mixer as well. Let's pop that sugar in. And I won't film this part because it'd be a bit noisy, but I'm just going to give it a whiz round and then I'll show you it when it's done. Right, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's a bit, it looks a bit darker, I think, through the camera, but that's quite light and fluffy now. So we'll just put the flour and the cocoa and the eggs in. These are quite large eggs actually. I think it's always good to use a good size egg when you're when you're baking. A little bit of shell just snuck in then. That's it. Okay. So we'll just pop these in. Do you know, I used to do like a little bit of each and then mix it. And then sometimes I just pop it all in. It just depends what mood I'm in and how much I'm rushing. So I'll probably put a couple of eggs in and give it a mix round and then put the rest in. I didn't sieve this flour actually. It didn't say to sieve it, but if you want to, you can. That's it. Right, the mixture's all done now. So, got my muffin tray here, and these cupcake cases came from, well, it's probably Poundland because they're Jane Ash. So, it's either Poundland or I think Home Bargains do them. I've had them in my cupboard for a little while. So, it'll be one of those. If you know where I bought them from and you've seen them before, then pop it in the comments so we know. So we'll just put these on. And she actually used gold ones. Oh, drop them. She actually used gold ones in the um, the book. So I was quite pleased that I had these in the cupboard. So we'll put these in here. Right, they stand up a little bit, but they should be okay. So now we've got our mixture. Just poke it in there so you can see the mixture. Now this is, it's kind of like a normal chocolate cake recipe, but because it's got the brown sugar in, it does give it a different, a slightly different taste. So that's what will make it different to just a normal chocolate cake. So I'll pop all the mixture in these. Right, 
there we go so they're all done i'm going to pop those in the oven now i've preheated the oven and i'm going to put them in on 180 c so they're going to take around about 18 to 22 minutes so i'll just pop a timer on just so i don't forget them and then we'll get them out when they're ready here we go so they're all done and out the oven i'm just going to leave them for a minute or so and then i'm going to turn them out from the tray and just pop them onto the cooling rack and we'll just leave them there to cool for a little while and then we're going to start and make the buttercream right so there the cupcakes have cooled lovely now so we're going to make the buttercream this is a honey buttercream so we've got 150 grams of unsalted butter and we've also got some icing sugar and that's 300 grams and in this bowl here we've got some clear honey and that is 75 grams so what i'm going to do is put all this into the mixer mix it all round and then we'll have our buttercream right so i'm just going to put the honey in what i did was mix the marge and the icing sugar first and then i'll do the honey afterwards obviously that would be instead of putting in any water but i've never made it with honey before so hopefully we'll be, we'll be fine right this is what the buttercream comes out like it's actually really nice i've just tried some so i'm just going to pop this now into my piping bag and i used to buy the disposable ones quite a lot but obviously i was throwing away quite a bit of plastic so i just bought one of these and i just wash it out every time now and it's it's much easier so i'm just going to pop this in here if you haven't got a piping bag you can just literally spread it on so don't think you've got to pipe it on if you if you don't have a piping bag or if you're not very good at it so we'll just pop some of that in there and let's see whether it when it comes out and it's ready there we go right so all you need to do um is i always start on the edge and you need to squeeze the top so you want to apply pressure at the top part here and i always hold it with um, my other hand just to steady it and we're going to go round in a continuous kind of swirl like that so when you're doing it you have to press on the bag but i slam now so you have to press on the bag all the time so hold it steady with the other hand start squeezing and kind of just work round in a circle and then go round like that and then kind of pull it up so and then you get a really nice swirl so i mean lots of you will know how to do this but there will be a few of you that don't so let me show you again so start on the edge, squeeze at the top, go round, swirl and up. And then you get a really lovely, perfect swirl like that. So I'll do all the rest and then we'll put some crunchies on the top. Right, so now we're gonna sprinkle some crunchy on the top and literally it's just these crunchy bars. They're basically honeycomb with chocolate around the outside. And all I've done is chop some up and put it in a bowl and literally it's just a case of putting some on the top and you can make the chunks as big or as small as you want and that is them completely done but i think they're going to taste absolutely del delicious because if you like crunches then you're going to love it so i'll just finish these and then we are finished and there we go so they're all completely finished and hopefully you'll agree they look absolutely delicious so if you have enjoyed watching this video then please give me a thumbs up because it really does help um, with my channel and um, that's it for me so i hope you're all okay and i'll see you again soon you take care bye for now